Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 59, how to day trade any market. In today's session, I'll be covering three live trades for three winners that I took, but I'll also explain a number of potential trades that I had uh, on either side of those trades. Now here, $1,000 a day may not be your target. Maybe you want to have a lot more. You just simply trade more contracts. Uh, maybe you're only after four or $500 a day. Well, you can trade uh, less contracts in this case here I like to trade five lots my target is $200 a day per contract and as you'll see I usually wrap my trading up well within one hour now as always there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose please feel free to read the disclaimer if you wish traders lesson for the day or one key thing I'd like to get across which I coach my members uh, in every new member and even experienced trader that may be finding trading difficult. The solution to trading truly is you've got to learn to trade like a casino. What exactly do I mean by that? This is an excellent uh, book here by Richard Wiseman. And trading like a casino is do we see the casino, say if we're playing blackjack, and they have four losing hands in a row. Do we see them changing their rules because of that? Of course not. Now they do have money management rules, meaning with most casinos on uh, a table, will have what we call table limits. So they will limit their risk at any one time, which is what we do when it comes to money management. But unfortunately, so many traders will have a strategy that overall it's a great, might be a 70 to 80% winning strategy for a day trader. And they have uh, four losing trades in a row. It just could be maybe you made a mistake, could be just the trading conditions at the time. And all of a sudden, they start looking for the next best thing. Traders, we've got to learn to trade like a casino. And if we've got a winning strategy, stick with that strategy. And one of the key uh, things here is is money management. Now, if you haven't already, one of the things you can do in the link below, you can request my compound spreadsheet here, which will show you how quickly you can compound your money or your returns with day trading. Now, this is very conservative. That is, say if we start off on the NQ, which is the minimum I would recommend you start off with, three and a half thousand. And let's not forget though, you can start by trading the micro contract, which is 10% of that. You'd only need $350 and you'd be going for $20 a day. But here traders, uh, you would only start to trade an additional contract when you double your money. So here we go from three and a half thousand up to seven thousand. Now we can start trading too. Once we've got another three thousand, we can start trading another three and a half thousand. We're up to now three contracts. Now I prefer to recommend to members that if they give themselves a wee bit of a buffer, four hundred dollars. Sorry, not four hundred. I should say four thousand dollars per large contract. And and as you'll see. If you're going to be trading one to two hours a day, 250 to 300 dollars is a very realistic goal. Okay, and you can see where you are in 10 weeks. So if you start off with 4,000, and the reason I bring this up about the 4,000, it gets back to this money management, which I'll show you. But here, what this tells me, if I start off with 4,000 and I'm targeting 250 a day. Uh, I've got the potential of earning my 13,000 a week within uh, only 10 weeks. That is the reality if you master the art of day trading correctly. This is not a get rich quick scheme. If you say, look at buying one of my courses and want to make a fortune with it a month, please don't buy it. You've got to treat this as a 60, 90, 180 day internship. Unfortunately, so many traders get caught up in the hype. Can you get wealthy? Oh yes, very wealthy day trading. However, please approach it professionally. This is a business. Now, I know some people are about to click off. They don't wanna hear this. They only wanna hear the golden dreams that never come true. They believe in the tooth fairy. Traders, I'm sorry if I sound perhaps a little aggressive with this, it's just I see so many traders with false expectations, yet 
if they were just to pull back and put a little more screen time in they would be up to master the day the, the art of day trade it's not rocket science now if we look at this just here this is where so many traders they refuse to follow the money management rules and this is just on some of the markets that we've got here so the maximum risk you'll ever risk is 2% that should be a golden rule I still see rubbish out there saying risk 5% maybe if you're a swing trader but as day traders ideally you want to be at the 1% level 2% is good to start with but as you build your account you want to lower the risk yes your return on capital will be less but you know what there's still a fantastic income to be made and the beautiful part as I mentioned is you can start on the micros okay you can start trading the micro build your account then jump up to the big contract you've got to learn to trade like a casino in other words follow the rules of your trading methodology take every trade that qualifies and follow your money management rules let's continue so first of all if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do below there's a or where, wherever it is somewhere on the screen there'll be something for you to click on uh, and I'm going to be releasing um, uh, I had a week off last week so I didn't have a chance to do it but I'm going to be releasing uh, uh, an on-demand trading webinar webinar where you'll be able to watch me uh, uh, trade live so request my ebook or by the way you can also request uh, my compound spreadsheet below so you can request those and uh, we'll also then send you as soon as I finish wrapping up this uh, webinar you'll then get a link to the webinar which you can then watch at any time so do that so also if you don't have my uh, ebook the truth about day trading click on the link below better still become a member 30 second advertisement for $197 you get my entire program all of my uh, indicators the trade station uh, ninja trader I uh, look if you've got a trading platform where I don't have the indicators I give you the settings to use which will basically replicate just about everything I've got anyway there's over 38 PowerPoints but when I say that relax you only need to really go through a couple of them there's two key setups that you want to learn and to make sure you do pick those up and learn them included in my $197 is I run both a live trading room and I run a coaching room a traders coaching room you'll also get eight free sessions to my two-hour coaching uh, room so every Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern I run a live room where uh, in the coaching room I'm teaching traders the setups the strategies the markets the psychology money management and much much more and there's comprehensive downloads in every session as well if after that uh, you're going to get excited by it you can then sign up for $97 a month uh, if you wish to then continue so that's an option uh, you've got to drop me an email if you wish to then continue okay end of advertisement let's get on with this so in today's session uh, it's three trades for three wins in 20 minutes of trading I call it scalp and run technique okay I'm in and out I want to hear that cash register ringing and here I'm trading five lots so after commissions unfortunately we've got to pay commissions it was uh, 1,092 now I'll show you this on the charts themselves because there's a number of things there I'd like to show you other potential setups that I didn't take so uh, I just put the time in got a, got a goal of a thousand dollars a day so here I had a trade there for a couple other potential entries uh, and I'll show you this it's better on the live charts okay and um, uh, then the net net after commissions 1092 now I've already pretty much mentioned to you traders that the potential of just um, $200 a day uh, where you can be in 11 weeks with a realistic um, uh, target now one thing I do want to say I do have to say you would not be doing this from day one trading a large account well you can but I strongly uh, uh, recommend you don't trade a live account initially and that's a beautiful thing with most trading platforms you can start on the simulator that's where you start now here uh, if you've got only say 350 400 a day 
you start on the micro you start trading with 350 go for only $20 a day and within 11 weeks you've then got your account built 11 weeks later you're back at the same result 10,000 a week potential income where will you be financially in 22 weeks time's going to pass anyway this is the true potential if you're willing to become a student of the market that is you've got to get uh, not only learn my setups which a great thing is they're pattern based it's about learning patterns which we do very well learn how to recognize patterns as humans uh, but also following the money management rules etc and the screen time now you will see that most of my trading I wrap up in under an hour does that mean then you only need to trade an hour a day no realistically uh, you've got to be allowing at least two hours a day why you might start trading in a quiet time you're waiting for the best setups so I don't want you to think when you see time and time uh, after, time after time I'm in and out and I'm wrapped up within an hour uh, what you don't see is really I'm checking the news just checking there's some key things some what I call non-negotiables we do do before we start all straightforward and easy however you do need to be allowing two to three hours a day for a serious income as day traders now you will see me refer to these every day and this is what I call uh, one of my secret weapons when it comes to trading as you will see so I want to know where my pivot levels are now if you're a brand new trader you may be thinking what the devil is a pivot what's the open high low and close level of yesterday and what's that got to do with trading once you have these clearly explained to you these are all very straightforward in fact most trading platforms will plot most of these on the charts automatically so it's really straightforward uh, like all things like learning how to drive a stick shift motor vehicle or as we call it down under in Australia a manual you know you, you know when you first start you've got to push the clutch in the brake the accelerator look at the rear vision mirror um, look at um, you know you've got to change gears how am I going to learn all of this and within 30 days you've got it down pat well this is easier okay because this will plot automatically but these are what we call both predictive and forward indicators that is price goes to these levels every day you could trade just pivot bounces and pivot magnet trades day in day out so these are very very important so let's get to the charts and let's start from there so first of all just want to give you a bit of a lead up to these uh, to the trades I actually took so just before um, I started trading we had a beautiful t3 now a t3 is a reversion to the mean and if you haven't seen my videos previously you'll hear me quote I, I have codes for every one of the setups I've got comprehensive um, abbreviations sheets and cheat sheets and all that sort of thing you pick them up pretty quickly and there's probably only about 10 of these that I use regularly okay for t7s the two three B's for t3 okay so you pick them up and you've got them in front of you you pick them up quickly but before I mention to you about the power of major EMAs and the other secret which I didn't uh, mention to you is not only um, uh, oh and that's actually should be the 200 sorry uh, for members watching this this is an 89b on the anchor chart 2 not the anchor chart 1 typo there everyone um, so you, you pick these up very very quickly but I want you to look over on the right there see that's a 200 EMA uh, so the second secret to my trading is I use high time frames but then I'm looking at these areas of support resistance so we've got anchor charts and the open high low and close our pivots etc that was what we call a loaded trade if I had been in at the market at that time which I wasn't you had one there there you had a classic for members watching is a classic t73 b here you then had another one here let me give everyone a little lesson why I wouldn't have taken that one personally when we sell or buy 
into a pivot into a high of day into the open high close of yesterday or into a major EMA we want to be expecting support or resistance so over here on the anchor chart one I would have been selling right at the uh, anchor chart one 200 EMA this one's okay because I've got some room to move and take a profit if I had have taken that one which I hadn't started trading yet we will see that in a moment so we want to avoid or at least get to break even as soon as possible whenever we sell or buy into a pivot uh, a major EMA etc why because we bounce off them now here in this particular case we actually would have picked up a few ticks and under my break even rules we would have done okay out of that one but now we pull back again the same thing this is not my area to trade now on the next trade we just would have been stopped out of that so even though this one would have made us money so in other words when you see uh, you've got a no trade zone that is a flat 89 and 200 EMA sit, sit on hand time sit on hands time in fact um, one of my members her boys trade with her and they come up with the term the ice cream sandwich zone <laughs> uh, just because when you get the 89 and a 200 down under in Australia there's a thing here and I know you've got it in the US as well and other countries around the world called the ice cream sandwich so in my uh, live rooms it's sort of stuck there so when I go into a period of consolidation like we've got here what I then want to do is wait for a breakout of the range now that can be a breakout by taking the lows out then form a lower uh, a lower high for a short or a new higher high followed by a new higher low which we would have had just there and basically a slingshot trade now whenever you take a trade one of the things you say to yourself is do I have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that what's in front of my trade so if we scroll down here you can see here I've got no pivots in front of me I've got no open high low and close levels in front of me uh, I'd have lines here but plot automatically but this lime colored here um, line up here this is the high of the trading session now these areas become what we call price magnets in fact we've got a setup called the t28 or the pivot magnet trade we're under certain conditions uh, which we see every day multiple times it's a 90% trade providing you're following the rules we're trading with the trend and if there's some other important rules that go with it so what I can see above here is I've got the high of day so as I um, come up to that high of day okay I had a potential trade now remember I wasn't trading as yet here is a potential trade just here now the further up I get I become a little paranoid about um, what we call divergence okay so that one was a no-brainer for me I wouldn't have taken this one would have been a, just under my personal rules and I wouldn't have taken this one okay um, that one you could have picked up a few ticks out of uh, I'm looking for now a deeper pullback and as we pull back let's just see here remember this is what you're looking at with your EMAs EMAs act as support resistance levels now if you're a pure price action trader right you might want to use stochastic you might want to use uh, a MACDBB this is a zero leg MACDBB but I use them for confirmation divergence and for T10 for an example just there for members watching here is a T10 there it is there long-term stochastic here's our hook so that is there is a T10 now as we're retracing just watch and see what happens down here right there now the white paint bar you see there doesn't plot or doesn't plot immediately okay so I now have a trade entry right now so this is what I call a 2b now remember what we spoke about here traders uh, what's in front of me well I know 
the high of day is above now what I also do is then expand my chart okay look at the anchor chart see where we're trending up right definitely I definitely want to take this and I've got up here the high of day now there's a concept that we call front running front running is where we I don't want to get out of the high with all the other traders so I'll front run by two ticks so I'll have a, a, a larger target I will put in place when I'm uh, targeting the main pivot like this but I'll front run by two ticks now in this case it actually come up and it touched my target and I didn't get filled okay so it actually touched my target I didn't get filled now for the way this works is um, and remember I'm trading five lots here each one of these steps I call these steps uh, on my market or, or the time frame I'm trading is worth ten dollars once I get up fifty dollars I go to break even automatically okay my stop is going to be one tick below and I get to break even however in this case as soon as I got to break even I brought my stop back down below okay um, uh, because I was looking to tag the high of day now at this stage and this is where sometimes you think mm, I wish I'd have taken it should have I what have, have I done the right thing but I did have all three time frames that is my entry chart and anchor charts were trending well I then pulled back and then had another potential entry remember I'm still long and we had another potential entry here now if I had have taken either this trade or this trade remember the rule I mentioned before do I have blue skies ahead well no because up there I've got the high of day now what usually happens particularly with say oil with gold with the NQ not always with ES will usually punch through by a few ticks when we hit it okay not always as you could see over there now over here then if you had have taken these what you want to do if you hadn't hit your target is get to break even or lock some profits in why because quite often we'll hit these and we then have a reversal and that's what we've got to watch so up we come and so trade one finally I hit my target two ticks below the high of day and you can see there we tick through by a number of ticks now what I've got right here now is a potential reversal I'm at the high of day and I strongly recommend initially traders do not trade reversal trades you want to learn how they work um, how to trade them but don't trade them initially master trading with the trend first uh, you want to understand divergence because you also want to know when not to stand in front of divergence okay because it's really like uh, you want to be flowing or trading with the flow of a river but at times it does go around a corner so you want to be aware of that now up here I got filled now at this stage I don't know what to do do I take because I did have and I was getting some divergence over on my anchor chart uh, one and on my anchor chart two and up we come now I'm really interested in this one in fact I then go and short the market why I formed a little double top and I call this a 2DA and it's a double top okay so I'm really interested in that okay so I well, were more than interested I go and short the market for trade number three down we come and I get filled there now I actually took profit so one two three four. now I actually hit my full target there I was going to say did I take profits at the 89 which I usually do and the reason being will quite often get a bounce again off that level in fact you can see there bouncing bouncing so we quite often bounce at that level so at that level so now uh, I'm out of that trade so two out of two now then I had some phone calls um, I can't remember what was happening there and the reason I got a bit cross there because that was a nice little scalp and I missed this trade right here for members look what you've got there a beautiful t12 
just a gorgeous t12 if you can get excited about trading now's the time to get excited okay so that was just the perfect trade but I was on the phone I get off the phone and then what have I got straight there in front of me I had a what I call a, a t10 which is um, a, a, a it's basically a reversal confirmation setup with what I call anchor chart for trading conditions so on the anchor charts it was basically saying take this trade okay take my money okay I want I want to get in and take this trade so I took this trade thank you very much and I got out just here now on reflection I actually should have increased my target again and front run so I actually cost myself 50 152 um, I cost myself there a good couple of hundred dollars on five lots by exiting uh, there once I hit my seven steps I was out and so that was a, a, a trading error okay not being fully focused so then um, there was my target then 1092 now just then for my members that um, uh, that are actually members what we then had was a golden uh, t3 okay off the high of day so t3s we don't have to have divergence so that was just uh, just a beautiful reversion to the mean trade thank you very much we then pulled back we bounced around uh, the 200 just there bouncing around bouncing around now with that also being said there I, and I, if I had have been live trading still at that stage I would have taken this short okay I would have taken this short and I just would have been stopped on that okay so there uh, I would have been uh, in that one and I would have been stopped but what I then had was another trade right here that would have qualified beautifully for me and let me just see and one thing I haven't done now this is what I call it yep and that was a 50% retracement virtually exactly now just so you know I apply fib levels and my measured um, move tool here more of a matter of interest uh, that is this can be known as a 50% retracement some will call this an ABC uh, as I mentioned I would have taken that one but I would have been straight back in on this trade just here where's my stop by the way one tick above another little double top so I'm mighty fine and down I go thank you very much now you probably get the general drift of what I'm looking for now so you can see here I'm now in a downtrend uh, I've come over here and I've tested the 200 traders what have I now made also I've made a new lower low so up here higher high lower high sorry lower low lower high lower low I'm looking for a short and there it is right there okay straight into it again so traders getting back to the concept of trading like a casino so there I would have picked that and I would have taken that and been stopped straight back in on the next trade why because I trade like a casino there's no such thing as certainties in day trading but there are probabilities you've got to learn to think and trade in probabilities of 20 so as I said traders this is not rocket science day trading is not rocket science it's about learning the patterns but one pattern there as I said um, and I could have not even told you about that one where I would have been stopped but the reality is I would have taken that one but that is day trading we're going to have some losses uh, mixed up with our winners that is trading so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do I think this was was this session 59 anyway section uh, session 60 is obviously going to be next come and join me as a member and I'll see you in my coaching room thanks traders cheers everyone